today we are going to start with a small demonstration of a new feature that Zoho is releasing now. And this is the all new Zoho One interface. The new Zoho One interface allows you to do certain things it also allows you to have everything in one place. Of course, I'm going to give you a nice demo in the next few uh, seconds. Um, if you like to have this user interface, and if we are your Zoho partner, there is a, in the description below a form. Click on it, fill the details, and we will be able to help you. We will ask Zo to add you for the early release. Uh, if we are not your Zoho partner, please ask your existing ZO partner to help you. This is why we are here, we are here to service you, right? So your ZO partner can help you, no problem at all. If you do not have a ZO partner, in the description below, you can assign us as your ZO partner and we will take care of you like we're taking care of all our customers, okay? Let's begin with the demo. So let's start with the, the new user interface. This new user interface allows you to to do a few cool things. Uh, first of all, when you go to your ZO one, you will be able to go to your home and you will be able to create different dashboards. And when you click on the dashboards, that's the same look and feel that you usually have with the, the different ZO uh, applications. Let's name this one communications because you will be able to create different types of, of dashboards. So here, for example, I like to see, let's say, uh, all my mail fol folders, and it's just click, show and hide. And when you have it here, you can also customize the size, okay? Uh, let's say I want to see all my meetings, maybe my webinars. If you have a uh, Zoho uh, webinars enabled, and maybe Zoho project tasks, Okay, and you can start building your dashboard as you like, and those dashboards are real time pulling the information from these different ZO applications. And you have a bunch of them. You can create dashboards for the finance, for the receivables, for sales. So they have a very nice uh, list of different dashboards that are pre built. I know that in the future, part of the plan is to allow you to have your own widgets. So you can create basically anything that you like on those widgets. And that's, that's something that uh, I heard that is coming soon. So this is one thing that uh, you can do with uh, the dashboards. And here you can have different type of uh, tabs, for example, communications, maybe finance, and you can just jump between them and have a glance of everything. So, that's, I think, something very, very nice that they did. The next thing that I want to show you, on the right top, you will have here the settings icon. And when you click on it, each one of the applications on the left side are, instead of seeing them, you will be able to see the settings of those applications. So if you like to create, change settings on ZooClick or WorkDrive or any other application, you will be able to click on the application and immediately you can set up everything <clears throat> from one place, uh, which also it's, it just saves time, which is nice. Now, one thing that I was confused about when I am on the settings and I'm clicking the applications, I see the settings. But if you go and click on back and now you're on the main application, when you click on the application, you see the application itself. So just remember that when you click on the setting, it takes you to the setting of those applications. And when you are not, it will take you to the uh, uh, page of the application itself, okay? Now, when you are on each application, there will be a sub menu related to the same application, which bottom line, you can work with one screen on multiple applications, okay? So if you want to work on your work drive, you click on that, and then here you can see all your folders and everything that you're running on work drive. Um, I found that it's, uh, because it's on one screen, I don't open multiple tabs, 
but from the other side, I jump between one application to another. So what I'm eventually doing, um, just clicking on the duplicate, and I'm just running multiple ZO1 applications, which is almost like before that I used to run multiple applications. Again, it's, uh, it's just something that you need to get used to. <clears throat> uh, the next thing that uh, uh, it's also in the existing version, you have the Zia search on the bottom, or if you go to, uh, yeah, let's go here. And let's say that I'm searching here for something, let's say Lior, and you can see that I get answers from my CRM, from work drive, from click, mail. Basically, if you have a client and you like to see his life cycle, just punch in his name or email and you will get everything about uh, this person. Of course, that you can also go and center the results based on specific modules. So CRM, work drive, and so on. And that's, uh, that's very helpful. Some of this functionality also exists in the existing ZO1 interface. So nothing too shocking here, but still, I think it's cool. Uh, of course, we can open all the applications from one place, which we already discussed it. Uh, one thing that is going to come soon, uh, it's not there yet, you will be able as part of the dashboards and also part of the applications that you see on the left side, you will be able to have your own applications. <clears throat> so for example, let's say that you're using Gmail for your email or you're using Google for the search, whatever it is, you will be able to pin those applications on the left side and they will be open on your Zoho view. So it's, it's everything in, in one place. <clears throat> okay. Um, the last thing that uh, supposed to be great, I find it okay, but not great. It's the calendar that you have here on the bottom. So this calendar is supposed to show you all the different calendar options from ZO1. So you have here your calendars, which is calendar.zo.com. It's part of your ZO mail calendars. You have here different applications, for example, like ZO CRM. When I created, for example, a new event, the event will have your different participants. Those participants are not being translated into leads or contacts from ZO CRM. So you can see here, for example, in the related for this buy new headphones, you do not see the contact name or, or the lead name. It's not coming in, even though it's, it's here as part of, of this view. In any case, this is, this is of course, just a beta version of, of uh, this user interface. It's not the final one. For sure, there is a huge potential for, for this product. Um, also, having all the applications that I'm using, you know, like such PayPal, my bank account, everything to bring it into one place, that's awesome. So uh, for sure, for sure, I'm not for sure, I am using it for the past five months because we had the early, as partners, we had early access to it, which uh, I think most of the people in the company really likes the new design and the new abilities. Uh, it's still not there 100%, but of course it's early access and so continue to collect the uh, information. But bottom line, Zo are amazing and doing a very, very good job with uh, giving us lots of new toys all the time, which is very cool. Mm -hmm.